Glenn, congratulations on the Bangladesh Test Tour. What are you feeling right now? Yeah, obviously pretty excited. It's um, It's been a long work in progress, obviously, the last few months um, playing over here and uh, trying to play as much Red Bull cricket as, as, I, as I can. And it's obviously paid off um, with, obviously, the selection. So hopefully um, I can get a few games and um, and stay in that team. Yeah, you've uh, been picked on the last couple of spinning test tours. Um, do you reckon that's probably where you sit at the moment? Yeah, it seems I'm a bit of a um, subcontinent specialist at the moment, so hopefully I, I can um, turn into just a test specialist and, and really stay in that squad because it's a, it's a place where I want to be. I want to be in all three formats and, and while I'm hitting the ball really well and um, in one-day cricket at the moment, I really want to carry that over into the Red Bull stuff and um, hopefully stay in that team for a long time. You've uh, you've played uh, in all sorts of positions, opening the batting, opening the bowling, but where do you want to be in the test team? Yeah, I'd like to be obviously five or six and, and really play that middle order role and, and be that extra spinner that the, the Australian team needs. So uh, to give Gaz that extra extra option and um, help at the other end would be nice. And um, but yeah, I'd love to be batting in the middle order and, and, and hopefully uh, scoring some big runs for us. Yeah, do you think you and Nathan can play on the same team, both being off spinners? Yeah, definitely. I think we're different type of off spinners. Um, he's obviously a little bit more over the top and gets a lot more um, spin and bounce. And I, th I feel like I can work work well with him. We've we've bowled well together in India before and um, and done quite well together. So it'd be nice to bowl in partnership with him and um, and really do well for Australia. You've done exceptionally well in the, in the IPL and in, 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 in India before. Um, what's it take to go over there and be successful as a batsman and a bowler? Well, I suppose it's probably the the preparation that you have in the weeks leading up to that. I think it's uh, getting used to obviously the conditions. It's obviously a lot slower and, and spins a lot more uh, excessive. So I think you're just getting getting used to that in the first two or three weeks that you're there and and really adapting. And I think that's something I've been really good at is adapting to different conditions. So hopefully that holds me in good stead. And um, having seven or eight previous subcontinent tours, hopefully that can um, also help me as well. Seems like we're in a bit of a change, a generational change, as Steve Smith says. Is it exciting being part of a young group, which probably doesn't have as much experience, but certainly makes it up in enthusiasm? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been a bit weird, this, this one-day series, being one of the more experienced players in the team. So it's, uh, it's, it's been exciting. Um, it's exciting that we can still perform and play well with, with the youth and um, the guys that are making their debuts. It's, it's a good eye-opener for them, what international career is all about. and. Um, hopefully we can uh, c continue to have those young guys play well um, and continue to play, have long careers for Australia. And I think the more experience that um, myself, uh, Steve, Mitch Marsh and these guys get at playing the highest level, the more we can help out those guys coming into the team. Bangladesh are a team on the up. It's not going to be an easy tour. No, exactly right. And every overseas tour is obviously obviously tough these days, so it's it's going to be a hard test for us. They, they've pushed um, a lot of good teams um, recently. I think India and South Africa have been over there, and it's it's been tough work for those two teams, so it's going to be tough work for us as well, so we're going to have to play well. And are you confident after after a couple of false starts in the test team that if you do get a chance, you can grab it with both, hand, both hands and, and make that spot your own? Yeah, it'd be nice to play a couple of tests in a row and sort of get some momentum as well, so it's... I've had I've had a taste of it. Now I really want that, that big pie, and I want to eat all of it. To say the truth, um, I I just really want to have have that time to really settle in and feel comfortable, just like the same way I have with the one day team and, and the T20 side. So, just getting that time in the middle and getting that time in that team.